What's good, it's Shigozi. On Thursday, March 10th, 2022, the Nuggets faced the Warriors. And I was looking for maybe there's an upset narrative for them to get the 101st all-time win against the Warriors, staying on 26 losses, 101's to 26 prime. And they'll pick their 41st win up against the seat. Their 41st win of the season against Golden State. Golden State equals 41. But that, that didn't happen. They both stayed on... Well, the Nuggets stayed on 40. Likewise, the 76ers. And it was a big Mercury ritual, as Zach was sharing earlier. But the point of this video is to show you the big clue I saw for the Nuggets to lose. And again, it just shows. Sure, you might, you might see an upset narrative, but it shows, like, okay, maybe you don't put so much money on an upset narrative. That's kind of what this would ho would help teach you as well. When you see such a good riddle for it not to happen, and the nug I said the Nuggets could lose and stay on sixty seven home wins against the Warriors on a date with nineteen life less than number, sixty seven is a nineteen prime. This is also the sixty seventh game of the season. So I'm going to show you, March tenth, twenty twenty two, date with nineteen life less than number, three plus ten plus twenty. Excuse me, 3 plus 10 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2, 19, right? And 67 is a 19 prime number. So the Nuggets could lose, stay on 67 home wins. See, the Denver Nuggets have a record of 67 to 24 versus the Warriors at home all time. This is perfectly synced up with, with Nikola Jokic's birthday. And again, I don't go to code sports often, so I'm just, I'm studying, I'm taking notes, right? I'm just paying attention. And, you know, I knew that they do things from the star player's birthday. I just know, you know, what trumped what, what was more important or whatnot. But this just shows that they really do it from the star player's birthday as well. And there's riddles with that. Maybe, you know, sometimes it might not be as stronger than other times. I got to do more research. You know, again, I don't look at sports that often. But... Further evidence of a Nuggets loss is that they are talking up Jokic in his performance. This is on the Nuggets page. And, of course, they let you know Nikola Jokic had 38 points. <laughs> you know, he plays for Colorado. Colorado equals 38. It's the 38th state on the 38th parallel. He had 38 points, 18 rebounds, and 7 assists. And the Denver Nuggets held on after blowing an 18-point lead and beat the Sacramento Kings 106-100 to 100 on Wednesday night. So they're talking him up, making him, like, you know, he can come back, he can do so well. So, you guys, this is the stuff right here that I saw through well before Gamatria and all these things. I, I just knew sports were bullshit because you see how they're talking people up, that, you know, make them look like they're good or this or that, just from, like, a lose the next game or something. And then I found it really fishy, too, that they're talking them up, and they just played the Warriors, like, two games ago. I mean, I'm like, what? Guys, this is the stuff that never made sense to me. Like, why do some teams barely play? Well, I know why. It's all ritual, right? But that's even before knowing all these rituals. I'm like, why? Why, why can't they all kind of play around an equal time? Why is why are you playing the Warriors two days ago, then you, then you play the Kings, you play the Warriors again, your Warriors, Kings? Some, some feudal medieval Jesuitism stuff right there, some riddle with that. But anyway, and King equals, King equals 41 as well. So I see some Mercury type of things here. But anyway... I'm just, you know, they're talking him up so hard. He wears number 15. When you, when you read out 15, you get 38. So they're talking him up like he's going to maybe come and win this game or something or just do good. But he didn't because the game came 19 days or two weeks, five days from his 27th birthday. It was so perfect. And I'm so, that's what I'm here to show you. And they call him the Joker. Guys, the NBA is a joke. That's the whole point. Nikola Jokic. This is a joker. This is an agent for the NBA. He plays in a fake league. His birthday is February 19th. So February 19th, 2022, his 27th birthday till the game is what? 19 days or two weeks and five days, right? So look what his record could have been. Look what his home, it was there, they were at home, right? Look what his home record could have been. Let me show you again. They could have been at home. See, versus Warriors. It doesn't say at, so it was home. Look at their home record, 67 to 24. So he could have lost, stayed on 67 home wins, and get their 25th home loss versus the Warriors. See how perfect that is? And that's what happened. That's literally what happened. The Warriors won. He stayed on 67 home wins, got his 20, 25th home loss against the Warriors 19 days or two weeks, five days from his birthday. 19 is representing 67. 67 is the 19th 
prime number. Understand that. Blood, I'm going to write a blood sacrifice because it gives you 67. 67 is the 19th prime number. And it also kind of reminds me, King equals 67. Like, is that a clue as well? They played the Kings before? Maybe not. I don't know. But King 67, they just played the Kings 67 to 19 prime. And then again, he loses to stay on 67 home wins, the 19 prime, 19 days from his birthday to fall to 25 home losses, two weeks, five days from his birthday. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is why the NBA is fake as hell. Is, again, I don't watch the shit at all. I, guys, yeah, I knew who Nikola Jokic was because, again, how do you forget a name like that? But I can't even name – I can't name one other person in the Nuggets. Literally, I don't know who else on the Nuggets. I can't name one other person on the team but Nikola Jokic. That's how much I know about this shit. And I should say to emphasize, the leagues are a joke. You don't have to know jack shit about what goes on on the surface level within the narrative and what they show you to see how it's fake. I mean, you don't. I don't know that anyone on the team, I, I, I can name all the teams probably, that's about it. Because someone, well, you don't watch the games. You know, how do you know? That's what they'll say. Well, for one, I've seen some of the games before. They look fake as hell. So, I mean, your point doesn't matter. And I said that looks like a perfect ritual for Jokic, from Jokic's birthday, giving an edge to the Warriors. But then that's like, but keeping it very simple, still lines up great for a Nuggets win. Because, again, this Nuggets went um, upsetting with that 41, getting their 41st win against Golden State 41. So I was like, maybe just keep it simple and they have a chance. But the game is also 190 days from the Nuggets coach's birthday. 190 is 19 in numerology because you dropped a zero. And it's also the 19th triangular number. Connecting back to the Nuggets staying on 67 home wins. Endeavor Nuggets equals 190. See, 190 days from his birthday, another 19. 19 days from Jokic's birthday, staying on 67 home wins. Come on, it's so fake. And then I did point this out earlier, but just to show you, again, I know how they, how they like paying tribute to history. And I noticed the Denver Nuggets were founded in 1967 as the Denver Larks. And Denver Larks sums to 69, and that game came on the 69th day of the year. Right, so we'll have a Denver Larks 67 tribute on the 69th day of the year. It made sense to me. So, yeah, those who, you know, who made money in the Warriors, good for you. Those who lost money in the Nuggets, you hope you had some good risk management because knowing, seeing this, again, I didn't, I didn't share this. I shared, I shared these on Twitter. I hope no one bets off my, because, guys, guys, I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm taking notes. That's I'm not giving anyone picks. I'm not, you know, I don't have a Patreon. I'm not trying to make something out of this like that. I'm just trying to study and do this on my own. That's all I'm trying to do and share what I find. There's plenty of really good people out there putting out, you know, sports information. You don't have to go to me for it. You're better off literally doing it on your own than come to me. Golden State equals 58. It's 27 weeks and one day from the coach's birthday of the Nuggets. You know, they won. And then, so here's another thing, a reason I saw for maybe the Warriors to lose with this 201 ritual because, well, really, it's, you know, they love to win with these Jesuit numbers, but the the all time there's 84 all time losses, right? The Denver Nuggets could have stayed on 84 all time losses, so I was like, oh, 84 coming out with 201, staying on 84 all time losses, 201 days from Steve Kerr's birthday. But that's not what happened. And again, I think just seeing it in Jokic's birthday so perfectly that, that's why I called it a perfect, a perfect riddle. I was like, hmm. You know, it's hard to fade something like that. So it was 201 days from Steve Kerr's upcoming birthday. The Jesuit Order 201. The Jesuit Order 84. Jesuit 84. And then I even said there's a decent upset narrative for the Nuggets, but the 1925 connect from Jokic's birthday synced up with the Nuggets' home record is a good clue for the Warriors winning. If the Nuggets upset, then it shows that maybe it's not always that important from the star player's birthday. But they didn't upset, so it shows that that stuff is important. Again, that's what I'm just showing you my notes. We can see the type of... Again, those who are already into this, you already exactly know what to look for. You know what I'm saying? This is just me studying on my own, and I could not ignore this riddle, and I couldn't not share it. I mean, look how, again, look how clean this is. Staying on 67 home wins, getting his 25th home loss. It's like, what the fuck? Man, this is so fake. With the Joker. Oh, wait, the Joker also equals 38, by the way. The Joker, 38. Scoring 38 points from Colorado, 38. Again, if you think the NBA is real, you have mental issues. You really fucking do. I mean, how, how is someone like me 
who, who doesn't follow the NBA know this. Look at my, my one from today. I was going to do this in another video, but might as well just not even do another another video. Have this as a bonus. But I, I got a, a something right today with the Hornets picking up their 11th all-time win. This is, this is, guys, this one was, these are the riddles I like because this one took me no time to decode. I saw, I saw this riddle in like literally two, three minutes. And that's how they are, they are sometimes. Will Jordan's Charlotte Hornets get their 11th all-time win against the Pelicans on the 11th day of the month? And they did. The Charlotte Hornets have a record of 10 to 23 versus the Pelicans all-time, right? So they could have gone for their 11th all-time win, staying on 23 losses, Seen them with Michael Jordan. Today is 1-1-3. Michael Jordan equals 1-1-3. So just to, to not confuse you, that we just decoded the game from yesterday, 1-0 slash 3, Osama Bin Laden's birthday, but I'm doing this video today on the 11th of March. Michael Jordan 1-1-3, right? So it's 1-1 slash 3 today. So the 11th day of the month, they're going for the 11th all-time win against the Pelicans. Michael Jordan owns the Hornets. Right? And the game takes place 11 days in the month on a day with 11 numerology. Today has 11 numerology as well. 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2. So 11 there, 11 there. Right? And again, it's 1 1 slash 3, Michael Jordan 1 1 3. And then it's three weeks, one day from Michael Jordan's birthday, like 31. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, born February 17th. So from his 59th birthday, Michael Jordan 59. Till today is what? Is what? Three weeks, one day, the 11th prime, right? A span of 23 days. He wore number 23. See how this works? A span of 23 days. And he wore number 23. So 23 days from his birthday, his team can stay in 23 losses. Yeah, you know, I'm never going to call anything a lock, but to me, it's just something like, yeah, put some, like, I put a little money on it, not, not much, you know, I don't. You know, I'm playing. I'm doing this for fun. Doing this for educational purposes, but like I had to. Like, why wouldn't I? It's such a good riddle. New Orleans Pelicans also equals 101, which is 11 in numerology. So again, they can stay on 23 losses on the 23rd day of Michael Jordan's age, and he wore number 23. That's exactly what happened. The Hornets stood stand 23 losses on the 23rd day of his age. See, and that's it. That's all I did. I didn't even bother looking at anything else. And, of course, basketball equals 22 and 31. So there you go. Again, the, the NBA is fake. It's scripted. It's rigged. No, it's, I mean, it's, someone said once, and they're right. They said it's not rigged. It's just all, because rigged implies that it's, you know, it's real and legit, but they kind of, you know, play some games here and there. They pay the refs off and all those little things. That, no, they don't do that. It's, it's, yeah, you're right. It's all going exactly how it's supposed to. So it's technically not rigged. But, again, that's just getting pedantic. It's, I call it straight up scripted, fake, trash, garbage. I'll still call it rigged. I don't care. I mean, it is. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's, it's what it is. But the person who said that, I understand where they're coming from. So, again, this is nonsense. Why make this video longer? The NBA is, is, is completely it's, it's stupid. I, I don't know how to, to put it. It's dumb. You just saw what I just showed you. It's dumb as hell. If you think it's legit still, again, there's problems. You have issues to work through in your mind. Understand that. And that's why I emphasize I don't watch the games. I, I guess, how many people on the Hornets can I name? Zero. I don't know a single person who plays with the Hornets. Not one person. I just know Michael Jordan because he owns it. Again, you don't have to have any knowledge of the players and the teams. Again, it helps a whole lot. It really does. I'm not saying it doesn't help. It helps a ton. But you don't need any knowledge of these leagues to see how they're fake as fuck. That's my entire point. That, that, you just know how to use Gematria, how to do these riddles, how to sync things up with Michael Jordan all the time. Like when Zach told you the Bulls will win their ne their next four games to become twenty three and eight on Michael Jor on the eve of Michael Jordan's birthday, that's exactly what happened. Michael Jordan equals two three eight. Crap is fake. It's scripted. It is nonsense from the Jesuit order. Peace out.